This is something so simple, I really don't know how I didn't think of it before. I have a small job site saw, so my problem is where do I put the push stick? When I'm making small rips like this, sometimes I fumble around trying to pick it up. An alternative is holding it, but I'm sacrificing control. Another issue is when I'm making wider rips, I no longer have a place to set it on the table, so I have to wander over to a different workbench, set it there, and then when I make smaller rips again, I have to pick it up again and go back and forth, and that sucks. So what I'm going to be doing is making a carriage that fits on the T-track on the fence on my Bosch job site saw. Now this will vary a lot depending on what table saw and fence system you have, but if you have T-track on your fence, then the same concept should apply. I have to cut two side pieces for the carriage. These have to ride just above the table, so I'm going to be measuring to figure out the whole location for the T-track bolt. Before going further, I'm going to do a quick test fit just to make sure the bolts fit through both side pieces and they're lined up and that neither of them drag on the table when moving around. Next I'm cutting out the bottom piece. I'm just matching it up with this push stick because this is the most popular one for me to use on the table saw. You could make it any size and come to think of it, I could have made a much larger carriage if I wanted to make something that held multiple push sticks. For assembly, all I'm doing is gluing together these three pieces and using pin nails to help clamp things together until the glue dries. With the carriage assembled, I'm ready to attach it to my table saw fence. For this, I'm just using quarter 20 bolts and wing nuts. Now with it attached, let me show you how this works. As I'm making rip cuts, it's easily accessible right there next to the fence for me to grab. And if I'm making wider cuts, it stays on there even though there's no more room on the table. Mm -hmm. 